So just another quick video and this is actually a first look about Virtual GDA 2024 which was released yesterday uh, as an early access release. So probably not something you want to put on your main DJ laptop at the moment but mainly, mainly for test use. So this video is actually like I said a first look but it's also a, like don't get too scared kind of video because some things looks very different but you can get uh, most of the stuff from before like you would expect so let's just look into that that also means that uh, it's not about the the big new features of course the biggest new feature is that uh, all the stuff about cloud drive you can now synchronize all the stuff on cloud and you can play from different laptops and you can do tons of stuff that's very intelligent and we'll get back to that in a later video but that won't scare you right now because you, if you don't enable it if you don't add some kind of cloud storage uh, that like different options then, uh, then it won't do anything. It'll just basically be there, but it won't be in use. So that's not scary. Another thing is like the fuzzy key mixing feature. That's also new. That also won't uh, be there uh, in use if you don't want it to, if you don't enable it. So that's not scary either. So that's not just the stuff we're going into right now, because like I said, this is still an early access release. And normally I wouldn't really do too many videos and stuff like this. But I've seen a few people get scared when opening, upgrading, maybe accidentally. I think, well, this is pretty safe. I've updated to early access releases before. Well, this is Virtual GDA 2024. There's going to be some major new features. And there is. Uh, so I think some people have uh, updated and gotten a little scared. So this video is mainly uh, for that kind of audience. Uh, of course, I'll go into the, some of the new stuff because we kind of have to, uh, right? So, to show some of the scary stuff. But uh, let's go into it. So uh, the first thing you're probably going to notice is that this thing is totally empty over here. So what happens to all the stuff that's usually over there? Like the, uh, the, the, the favorite folder and the filter folders and the uh, virtual folders. Well, they're gone have, and they're not there anymore. Well, they yeah, kind of are, yeah. Uh, they're just mainly uh, right click functions now. So if I click into some place down here, for instance, this one, you can see I right click that. I can create a, uh, a local list. Uh, that's actually the uh, the uh, the virtual folder slash playlist. We'll get back to that. So you can just still do that. You can create a local filter. Uh, that's a filter folder. What used to be a filter folder. We can just click it so you can see that you can still have the filter editor here and stuff like that. Um, that's fine. Uh, and you can click on the uh, set of same favorites. So that's also the same as before. Uh, so of course these two are now called local. Why are they called local? Well, that's probably because all the cloud stuff, all the online stuff now. So this is of course the opposite. It's local. So that's probably just that. So don't don't get scared about that too much. And then there's the stuff about the the the, the virtual folder being called a list. Um, we'll get back to that in a second. But it's just to say that the stuff that's missing up here, you can find it as right click functions now. And uh, then there's these the three down here. Uh, it's like the show only buttons that may also be missing, but if they are, uh, if we have seen that before on new installs, you can get them in here uh, on the little dot menu and then on the show only. And if you want to start clicking that, you'll get the buttons back. So not too scary either. Um, so uh, that was the, the, the bar over here. I'll get back to it in a second. You see it's doing stuff now, but Get back to that in a second. What else has happened? Well, let's go a new ideas folder. So that's nice with an ideas folder, but uh, uh, I used to have a uh, lists and advices folder. What's happened to that one? Well, it's kind of the same thing uh, because you know how now we have all these functions in here almost. So they have the charge and you have the cloud lists, you have the history, you have the DJ and stuff like that. And you also have the main folder for filters. That has sometimes be like a, a root folder out here. But now it's in here. Um, when you look at, you can have, you can still drag and drop it around, so you can pick your own, build your own structure if you like. But that's that's all in here now. So it's just called ideas instead, except that there are no playlists in here, right? So where have the playlists gone? Well, they've gone to the same place as the virtual folders because they've been combined. So now virtual DJ only have lists. So, but where are my lists then? because I've lost everything. No, you haven't. There's just been auto, auto converted into the new lists uh, and they're in under my lists here. So you can find them in here. Nothing's missing. It's still in here and they still 
uh, have your files in them and stuff like that. So no problem. And these actually have more functions, right? Just like the old uh, virtual folders have uh, more functions in them. So now it's just all been combined into one here. And I won't get into too much detail about these new things they can do, uh, or that combined things they can do. Do that in a later video. This was mainly to take away the scary parts, right? So it's just, they're still in here. Nothing's gone missing. So, so far, so good. Um, also, if you have all archive playlists that haven't been here, so the old school M3U playlists, based files playlists, those are the ones we're talking about. So maybe you've had those like around your hard drive, dif uh, different places, and you will use them a lot. They're still gonna be there. They haven't been touched. So if I have some down here, for instance, so if I click one of those, you can see that also still works, still have my faults and everything. So those are old school. So that, those are the ones that, that Virtual DJ don't consider its own. It's just stuff that's been on the hard drive. So it's only the playlist from up here that's been converted into to lists now on the my lists, right? And of course, um, virtual folders now are also called lists. So they're basically the same thing. That's the whole idea. There was really no need to have two kinds, right? Um, and then we're getting back to this thing up here. So what's that one now? Well, that's actually a new feature called uh, shortcuts, like you can see right there in the tooltip. So what does that do? Well, I do the same thing as favorite folders, basically. So if I go into some place here, it's just a little bit quicker to get to them, click something and click one of them. I get a direct link to that. So if I click back to something else like here and click it again, it jumps directly to this thing. So uh, then what also happens is again a new button. You can actually also drag it or drop it over there, but I think it's probably easier to click it here. So you can get, you can also pick a list and you can click it and you can click a favorite folder and you can uh, uh, click it, the old favorite folders. And uh, then you've got get more and more of these, right? So they're all shortcuts. So you see, it basically jumps around now when I click it, right? Like that. So, but they're all kind of the same, right? Well, they actually have a, uh, an icon option. So I can right click it and change icon. Just drag it down here so you can see it. So the new, change the icon. Uh, then. So of course, all this kind of stuff like that. And as you, you can also add a custom image if you want to. Um, that of course have to be in a certain format and stuff. We'll get back to all that in a later video. But right now, these are shortcuts. So this is basically what these things can do. So that was basically uh, all the little scary things that will probably uh, you probably see right away when you do this stuff. But not to worry too much because most of the stuff is still there. There's actually been a few bugs reported in some of these conversions, like on filter folders and stuff to filters. Um, but that workarounds if you look into the virtual DJ form, and of course they've been fixed. So again, probably wanna don't want to use this uh, version. Uh, before it's been uh, debugged a bit. Uh, and so basically before it's become a public build. But just in case you've already upgraded, these are some of the things that will, uh, that will show up and this is uh, how you should uh, look at them, right? And of course, then the next twist will be, well, I actually didn't mean really mean to. I didn't notice it was a brand new 2024 uh, version and I often just upgrade to the latest early access release. I really want to go back uh, until this is a public release. What do I do? Well. Of course, you can uh, go back. So you can just install the old version or you can do like I usually do. Uh, and I have more versions installed at the same time. I've done a video on how you can do that if you don't know. So I'll link that in the video description. But it basically have a lot of versions at the same time. And that means I can simply start with the old version. And I almost get my old stuff back. But of course, as you can see, there's still stuff missing here, right? So some of the stuff it's been converting uh, is, uh, is basically missing. So... Um, so how do you get that back? Uh, that Well, you can actually do that by uh, uh, doing a, a root element uh, reset folders here. So uh, then you get your list and advice back and you get your filters back. And that also includes your old school playlist. So they're back here again in the old format with the old icon. So it's possible to go back, but like I said, there's been a few bugs with some of the conversions and some of the stuff, but that works around workarounds on it. And if it's of course been worked on as we speak. I'll of course uh, get back to some of the main new features uh, in 
in, in later videos, but I don't really usually do videos on early access releases. It's just because there's been a, a few people that's uh, been a little surprised to what happened when they accidentally or maybe intentionally without thinking too much about it, installed the new early access release, not noticing that it was a major release, it was a 2024 release. So this is just to take a little bit of the, the scaring stuff out of this new version.